35 years ago last month, the great Walter Payton retired from professional football. Of all the incredible records he set during his 13-year career, there's one that speaks to his character. Walter played in 170 consecutive games, which is still the benchmark for running backs to this day. No matter the game or the conditions, whenever his teammates looked in the backfield, Walter was there for them. His unique determination and support extended far beyond the field as well. It didn't matter if you called him Walter or Sweetness or Dad, our father never hesitated to be there for others. He set another benchmark, one where NFL players are out there tackling major issues in the community. It is why the league's highest honor is called the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. At the end of every season, each team puts forward a candidate for the presti this prestigious award. And while you will probably never see an offensive lineman like me win the MVP, Man of the Year recipients come from just about every position on the field. And it's for any player who, like Walter, was always there for others. Here now is a look at the 32 nominees for this year's Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. It's hard to get anywhere in the world today without a team, a circle of support, a community, for players across the league, helping their neighborhood is a year-round labor of love. I'm gonna stand by you, even if we're breaking down. We can find a way to break through, even if we can't find heaven. Love, you're not alone. Cause I'm gonna stand by you. It's not always about football, just being able to shed light on what it's like to put other people first. It's so much more important who we are off the field and what we do with our platform. It's really a blessing to impact so many people. You never know how big of an impact it could make. Not only going out there and volunteering and being part of the community, but bringing people together. Just being able to give back, impact and touch people's lives. A chance to lift up those who could use a hand, a hug, or that most precious gift, hope. It's certain people that's built for moments like this. Nobody can tell you what you can and cannot do. Be great on three, one, three, 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 three. Nothing is impossible, bro. You got a dream, man. You, you go for it. These 32 men champion a spirit that is both powerful and comforting. An unstoppable drive to give up themselves, to lend a hand, and be essential members of every community they call home. You brightened up a very dark time in our life. I remember wanting to be just like you. It's the love that you share with people along the way. Bye. About we're not magical, but we're here to help give back to the communities and continue to give back. The time is now. People need us. So let's see how many lives we can change. It's okay. It's okay. Later on tonight, we will announce the newest recipient of the NFL's highest honor. But first, please join us in thanking these extraordinary men for everything they do. They are the nominees for the 2022 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. Welcome the 2019 Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year, Calais Campbell. What a night, what a night. Earlier this evening, we saw 32 men who are following the footsteps of Walter Payton's big-hearted footsteps. Uh, one invested a tremendous amount 
of his time and resources towards medical research and improving the mental health of at risk youth. It has been from the moment he entered the league. His efforts are inspired by not one, but two very personal and life-altering events. And now, an ever-growing number of people are turning their hardships into inner stress, thanks to the commitment of Dak Prescott. What is your story? Getting used to the heat, but uh, we had a great practice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you the way you are? Dak, this is Jerry Jones, and you're a Dallas Cowboy. For Rain Dakota Prescott, the story begins as a biracial child growing up in a trailer parked among the pines east of Shreveport, the youngest of Peggy Prescott's three football-crazed boys. Times were far from easy. It was poverty in a sense. For me to say it was a struggle, I would be discrediting my mom and my brothers. I think if you asked any of us, did we ever need, never, never. That's how selfless and that's the person my mom was. Mississippi State would come calling and look like a very promising chapter. But then, two words, mother, cancer. By her wishes, Dax soldiered on. Early in his sophomore season, he was the starter. Two months later, she was gone. to the NFL draft. It's going to be a lot of hard work. Just continue to get better in every aspect. Peggy knew overcoming adversity could lead her son to greatness. She told him, allow me to be your motivation, your inspiration. Let me be your story. I remember her telling me all greats have a story. Now it's up to me for her to live through me. That call to arms became a foundation with a focus on cancer research and funding patient welfare. My nonprofit is Faith, Fight, Finish. Our mission is empowering individuals, families, and communities to create strength through adversity. Faith, Fight, Finish came into our lives and helped. I still can't believe it. I'm going to start crying. Lives were saved, stories rewritten. But sometimes tragedy begets tragedy. In 2020, Dak's brother Jace the rock at Peggy's side for her painful descent took his own life. You can't even put into words the burden. I mean, it's something only Jace knew. He didn't know how to share it. He didn't know how to, to be vulnerable about it. A difficult truth was laid bare for Dak, but he shared his pain, telling all who would listen that being vulnerable is okay. Our adversity, our struggles, what we go through is always going to be too much for ourselves and maybe too much for even one or two people, but never, never too much for a community, for the people and the family that you love. I've made a promise that his life will be one taken to save millions. Starting in July, there will be a new three-digit number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Our curriculum encourages adults to reach out to young people struggling with their mental health. One man helping many turn difficult pages and add chapters to their lives, telling those who carry unbelievable burdens, let me be your story. Not holding those feelings in. I think it's huge. I think it's huge to talk. I think it's huge to get help, and it saves lives. I'm just showing people how to express their adversity to be allowed to become their strength. I know my mom, that's what she would want. I am honored to welcome Dak Prescott to this elite fraternity. Welcome, Dad. Thank you. Wow. It's very humbling to stand here on this stage. It's such an honor to be here tonight in the esteemed company of the 31, other 31 nominated men 
I just want to say I think the world of you. You have so much respect for me. Congratulations on the nomination and your chance in your years to come. I promise you that. First off, thank you to the NFL, to Commissioner Goodell, to Nationwide for recognizing the importance of the impact that we as NFL players can have off the field. To the Payton family, I have such appreciation for Walter and for your beautiful family that continues the legacy through your charitable work that Walter's incredible legacy on the field was matched, but yet probably exceeded uh, by his humanitarian work off the field. So that's something that I've always said. I hope that when I finish this game, they can say he's a hell of a player, but he was a much better person. So thank you to the Walter family. As a Dallas Cowboy, I am honored to join the prior, the prior recipients of this award and such prestigious award, which is Roger Stallback, Troy Aikman, and Jason Witten. These are men who I look up to and have learned so much from. Being recognized alongside of them, I will never take for granted, and it's something that I'll take pride in forever. I'm so grateful for the Dallas Cowboys organization, the entire Jones family, Emily Cruz Robbins, and the community relations team. They so generously inspire and help and help us change and give hope to our communities and encourage all of us who wear this jersey uh, to do the same. To my fellow teammates who work so hard alongside of me, thank you for the support of my foundation and for all the charitable work that you do. You make me better on and off the field. I want to thank my family and my friends for your constant love and support. My pops, I appreciate you. Uh, you showing up and caring so deeply for everything that this foundation is doing uh, means the world to me. Tad, my big brother, uh, you're always so supportive. You fight for this family to the end. I love and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. My foundation work means the world to me. So I have to thank the people that I do it with who helped me start this foundation. I want to thank those, Big Peter, Little Peter, Jenny, Julie, Todd, Shannon. Uh, the work that you do and the work that you put in this foundation does not go unnoticed. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, I'm so blessed, so blessed to have you. Thank you. Now, now, mostly, I want to acknowledge the person who has had the biggest influence on my life, my mother, Peggy. My mother was and still is my moral compass. And through my own charitable contributions, I seek to share her strength and courage with the world. It was one of a kind. My mother told me. As you saw in the video, my mother told me when she was diagnosed with cancer that all greats have a story. Allow me to be your story. She is my why, and with these words, just as she does and always did, my mother inspired me and motivated me to be great beyond the circumstances, and it is in her honor that I started my foundation in 2017 and named it the Faith Fight Finish, the three words she left me and my brothers. But since, the work also honors my brother Jace, who as you saw passed from suicide during COVID in 2020, and I made a promise that that'd be one life taken to save millions. Therefore, I am very, very thankful that this amazing, for this amazing platform that allows me to do just that, share the story of my mom and my brother, and hopefully inspire so many others. In the video that you saw, it allows me to assist and to connect with so many people, and I'm so thankful to be able to do that. It's something I'll never take lightly, and I'll never take it for granted. I gain strength, I gain motivation from seeing so many of our beneficiaries who are meeting the defining moments in their lives with grace and courage. I strive to create empathy every day, and I learn so much from those I give, including how much more there is to be done. I'm grateful every day for the opportunity to continue to chase the legacy of Walter Payton and the, and the former Man of the Year winners. I draw so much inspiration from each of you who represent the immense potential that we have as NFL players to make an impact on this community and the world. Our work will never be done and it will not be easy. But through adversity, we find our strength. And I know that we will carry on our worthy pursuits, not being discouraged by how far we have to go, but rather emboldened by the hope that we can leave this world a better place than we found it. Looking around this room tonight gives me great hope for the future. And I thank all of you for making a difference, whether you're here tonight or watching from home, or even if you're already a leader who's making a difference in your community. I wanna remind you that we're all blessed with the obligation to make an impact on our communities and to love our neighbors. So if each of us can find a way every day, big or small, to make a difference for someone, that love will spread exponentially 
And that is how we make this a better place, this world a better place than we found it. I'm so, so, so honored, so honored to receive this award. Thank you all, and God bless. Love you, Mama. Congratulations, Zach and y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging with us tonight.